Hello everybody, welcome to the Film Pigs here on GeekNation.com, the only web series on the internet that is not Shia LaBeouf pretending to be nice at Cannes. I am your host <laughs> this week. My name is Stephen Falk. Oh my gosh, this is Todd Robert Anderson. Hi everybody. Uh, he's a good, he's a nice fella. I'm nice. He's a, he's a, he's a good father, nice, <laughs> ni a good husband. <laughs> And uh, he's a he's a good yeah, man. There you That's go. Stephen J. Skelton. Hello. He's a he's a friend to all. I am. He's a he's a talented uh, guy oh, in, gosh. in many different realms. Get out of here. Snazzy dresser. Thank you. Uh, and uh, and and you should you should you should get to know him. Also, <laughs> our guest within, this week. Within reasonable hours. You're <laughs> within reason. Charlie Wyrock. He's a fantastic uh, actor. Why rock? Why not rock? Hilarious! <laughs> he's heard that a lot. Uh, he's, never, uh, he, never before. He, he's a good man. He's on the cusp of uh, of something we can't talk about right now for decades now. <laughs> but he's he's, a, he's an actor on the verge. So keep watch on Why Rock and uh, he's been on Newsroom. Yeah, he was on the Newsroom. He's in program. Newsroom. Everyone loves the Newsroom. Yeah. Sorkin. Sorkin. I have nothing to bad. I have nothing bad to say. No, why would you? About anybody. Why would you? He was on uh, Reno 911, I think. Oh my God. Yeah. He's, <laughs> been on all kind of, he's an improv guy. Sure. With no. the I O, they call it the I O because yeah, they got sued they for calling it Improv Olympic. <laughs> That's a true story. Can't, oh, that's can't call so it sad. Olympic because of the Olympics. What about the special? Uh, all right. I'm not touching. Were they that. allowed or were they <laughs> sued? <laughs> Why don't we have some popcorn? <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. 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 Take it away. I did not it was know that. It was, it was a genuine that. question. Were they sued or did they cut a deal? I, think they, I don't think they had to cut a deal. Yeah, you I just know. shut up and let I them. I'm assuming you, that there's an arrangement. You don't sue. Let them have it. Uh, those kids. That's not good They're press. They're good kids. But what if, what, if you have, what if you create a show called Seinfeld and then suddenly pops up special Seinfeld? <laughs> Are you allowed to sue them? Larry David Look, Wood. We're, we're, we're delving into murky territory, like, but you, we don't need to. You just pitch an offensive <laughs> web series. <laughs> you, <laughs> Kramer's entrances <laughs> would be a No! Myth. No! <laughs> and they could still use Michael Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Oh, when you're done, comedy. when you're done with wow. murky topics, oh, you want to go out on a Friday night. What are you going to do? Where are you going to take your honey? You can take them to the movies. Uh, what are you going to see? You don't know. Because you have, obviously, you have poor judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Thus. Look at your lady. Ooh. Whoops. No. <laughs> oh, I thought. Your lady's fine. I was saying, look at your comedy. Bits. No, he means she has poor judgment because she's with you. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is derailed. <laughs> to put this back on the rail, rail you need to look at some, you need to uh, ask opinions. Learn it. <laughs> Intelligent, perceptive people. But, but, but interrogate first. your date. But first, <laughs> before you do that, ask the film page. We just put it on one rail, though. It's a monorail. <laughs> yes, this is rash judgment. Superconductor. <laughs> with a, this is where we tell you if you should see the movies coming out this Friday night based on nushing. Nothing. Nushing. nushing. <laughs> I, I started going too quick. On nothing but our own dickish instincts. Todd, what do you have for us? Uh, my rash judgment is for a movie called The One Below. What? Uh, when you're dealing One in horror below. movies with things that are below, are you tired of too many uh, chuds? Or <laughs> No, things? Todd, the plural of chud is chud. Oh, I apologize. It's already, it's already. Right, that's singular is a chai. It's a chai. It's a um, chew. But if you want just one. Is it a murder of Chad? It's, it's, like, uh, it's like attorney's general. <laughs> that's, I'm going to say that. If you want just uh, one that's below. Of Chud. Uh, that's a murder of Crud? Yeah. Chud? Sorry. Are we good? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, if you want just one that's below, this is the movie for you. It comes from the United Kingdom. It stars the governor from the second or third season of Walking Dead. I can't remember because I oh, can't I remember anything. But I remembered when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh, it's the governor. And did you say, hello, governor? Hello, hello governor. governor. No, I didn't, but I should have. I uh, regret not doing that. Glad I got to do it here. Here's the thing. This is another one of these Babadookie uh, 
Goodnight Mama kind of movies where a uh, lady. It was just called Mama. It was just called, just called Mama. Whatever. What, uh, Mama. Whatever it was called. It's the boy. The, the, the like, boy. The boy. The, 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 the lady really wants to have a kid, and they're having a hard time having a kid. And it's like, careful what you wish for, because it turns into a terrible nightmare. Yes, this movie's rated R, which gives it like makes it a little bit more interesting than a PG-13 movie. But even the R-rated ones, like the Babadook and the, the You're Next and that stuff, they're putting me to sleep. They're making me sleepy because they're all slow burn. Because they're low budget, they look good. Because they spend all their money on camera work and not on like special effects and monsters and stuff. Baba Duke is expensive. I, I don't know. If you like the Baba Duke, see this. I'm keep, not gonna. Keep Todd awake. Scum. <laughs> hey guys. I rash judging <laughs> Alice in the Looking Glass. <laughs> what? It's a sequel the to guy. the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland show with Johnny Depp in his makeup. Is it Tim Burton? Never. Is it Tim Burton? He's starring it's, in No, it. it's Tim Burton doesn't direct it, but he's like producing it. Oh, he's not directing it. I don't. I can't remember who's directing it, but uh, all your old favorites are back. Bill well, Turton. You mean Johnny Depp is wearing crazy Johnny makeup? Johnny Depp is crazy makeup. I don't believe that. Helena Bottom <laughs> Carter is being crazy. Can't believe uh, she's in it. Uh, <laughs> Alice is back. Uh, it's full all of the other, surprises. All the other cartoons that are uh, were in the first one. Now here's the thing, Alice in Wonderland. It did really great business. It was a big hit worldwide. Mm -hmm. It was like mm -hmm. a billion dollar movie. People right? love little girls going on so, LSD trips. Yeah. So the, there's yeah, the sequel. That gets a lot of people in trouble. But I, I don't know. I mean, I'm I. I I, a while back, I got tired of paying to watch Johnny Depp's dress up time. So I, I haven't I didn't see up time. I didn't see Alice uh, in Wonderland. I don't want to see this. I don't. Did you see the Willy Wonka? Problem? I did not see I the did, Willy I Wonka protest, show. I protest. I did not see. He's that. the most screechingly annoying Willy Wonka of all time. Oh, now I here's what I will say that I, impresses me about Johnny Depp is uh, his characters on screen are way more easy to understand than he is in real life. Mm. He like does his Brando mumble that you can't understand in interviews when you see him in his, uh, on TV shows when he's all got his bangles on. Mm -hmm. um, but then when and he's- his scarves. Yeah, and his scarves, but when he's his character, a lot of those are he's one Richards. of his weird makeup-y characters, you can totally understand what he's saying. I don't want to see the movie. All right, that's a no. Charlie, I'm doing uh, X-Men Apocalypse. <laughs> Sure. Why not? Why Which not? Uh, the title Gross. pretty much tells you what's happening to this uh, franchise. <laughs> um, looked at the trailer. Here's my gist of it. Uh, the sun god Ra <laughs> has some buddies. Uh, he's mad about something. He's, he's on the outskirts of, like, I'm guessing Cairo. Um, the X-Men have to confront him. Uh, you know, Fassbender, he screams through the whole goddamn thing. It's, it looked like he was in The Revenant. But I'll say this. The, this particular uh, budget had to, it was a little short on wardrobe because they kept cutting pieces out of Olivia Munn's <laughs> stuff. And I, I personally, I hope it does well so they can buy her some slacks <laughs> or like a blouse. Um, other than that, it, it kind of looks like a bunch of kids from Chernobyl got together and had a big bash. I don't, I, that's all, I don't know. I love kids from Chernobyl. Thank you, Charlie. That was rash judgment. You guys. <laughs> Chernobyl kids. Movies, uh, the number one thing that happens in them. Shootings. Shootings. Shooting. People get shot. People get shot. Get How do you act that? I well, don't know. I don't know. we have Master Thespian. Charlie Wyrock here oh. to tell us in a, another Film Pigs master class about the shootings. What should we do, children? Oh! oh. We should. Oh. Oh. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Finger guns. American movies are almost entirely about violence. America itself is almost entirely about guns. Therefore, Perhaps the most important part of film acting is knowing how to play getting shot. But there are all kinds of shootings. And there are all kinds of guns. So how do you know which way you should get shot? Maybe I can help. 
Let's have a look at what it looks like to get shot in real life. Realistic? Sure. But not visually compelling. Oh! You have to make it more dramatic. What's that look like? Oh, I get it. That's way more interesting. Right. You have to make getting shot look like fun. Remember, we're a pro-gun culture. But what about different genres? Do you have to change it up depending on what type of movie you're in? Great question, Steve. And the answer is yes. Let's say you're in a gangster film. Here's what that would look like. Or you might find yourself in the rare western. In that case, it's all about the head. And if you're in a war film, you have to kick up the emotions as you're bleeding out. Oh, buddy! Oh, God! Oh, my God! And if you find yourself in a horror film as the iconic killer, just remember this. The bullets can't actually kill you. <laughs> Maybe the most difficult genre is noir. It's a very subtle thing. <laughs> My personal favorite is the comedy shooting. You shot me! You shot me! Jesus Christ! Ow! Son of a bitch! I feel cold. I just should get cold. Fuck you! Is there any kind of difference between the way a lead and a supporting character get shot? Excellent question. Let's say you're a more expendable character in an action movie. Here's how that should look. But if you're the lead and get shot, it's very different. You cannot die right away. Oh, oh. buddy! Oh, 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 oh. I, gotta, I gotta tell you something, buddy. I don't know why I've never told you this before. I love you, man. Why have I never said that? <laughs> oh, I love you too. <laughs> and that's how you get shot in the movies. Oh, well, wow. that was incredibly informative. Thank you so much for lending your I'm um, here to help. expertise and your expertise. Unbelievable. And your, and your Pratt falliness. Illuminating. Amazing. Mm. Illuminating. So many you're, different ways. You're welcome and ouch. We don't <laughs> always get a chance to, as plus 40s, fall <laughs> on 40s. camera. Not no. if, not that's if my manager's a, watching. That's now a new term. Thus, we thank you, America. Yeah. Um, this has been a great show, you guys. Uh -huh. I'm very excited about what we have done here. Mm. I feel triumphant. If nothing else goes well in these next Five six days. Yeah, and it probably won't. won't yeah, I will yeah. consider this a win. Mm. This week will go in my like I I chart every week, plus or oh, minus. Oh, in your uh, chart journal. It's going in a plus. It's like an nice. over under. It's like an over under. Yeah. I've charted a bunch of times. <laughs> wow. I think you're using the wrong again. Word. Over forty. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake! Uh, this is Scott. Todd Robert Anderson. <laughs>
This is Stephen J. Skelton. This is Charlie Wyrock. Just charted just now. Just charted. On, uh, on behalf of Geek Nation Top and the, the Film charts. Pigs uh, International Consortium of Evil Villains. With a bullet. I'm the host, Stephen Falk, this week. Uh, and and uh, we'll see you next week, until next week, the, where the concession stand <laughs> has been closed due to health code violations mm. and improperly uh, dictated closing uh, bits. Don't mm. eat the Goodbye, red everybody. <laughs> hey, uh, can you hand me that uh, roll of paper towels and some simple green? <laughs> it's for your pants, isn't it? Yeah, I charted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>